Fentanyl is a growing problem in this area. Experts say it's easy for children to encounter the drug. That is why a local sheriff's office is launching a campaign to make parents aware. WDBJ 7's Amir Massenberg joins us in studio. Amir, this is scary that kids can get their hands on this. What can you tell us about this new campaign? Well, Jean, the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office is working with First Lady Yunkin's campaign fighting the growing fentanyl problem in our area. They're putting an extra focus on reaching kids. Sometimes our parents have a hard time engaging in those type of conversations. Be bright, choose right is the message the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office wants to send to kids in our hometowns. The campaign includes a video with animated characters the Sheriff's Office calls their school friends, sending a message about what to look out for and the dangers of fentanyl. The hope is for it to prompt conversations. This being animated, kind of kid friendly, it draws the kids in but draws in the parents so that they can start that conversation. Tamika Page is with the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office. She says while they haven't seen an influx of children coming in contact with fentanyl, it can still easily happen. You ever sat at a table and you know how you see like the little fine dust on it or lint on it and you kind of just wipe it off because that's where you're sitting? You, that could potentially be a dusting from any type of narcotic. In December, seven Central Elementary School students in Amherst County ate gummies traced with fentanyl during lunch. Investigators learned the bag the gummies were in was contaminated. Fentanyl can be on anything. It can be a dusting, and a child could just walk by and touch that and be affected. The campaign will run for a while, as fentanyl is still having a huge impact on Roanoke overall. Uh, Lady Yunkin just talked to you yesterday about how the numbers have come down, except for in Roanoke, we're kind of still holding steady. So our job is not done until our numbers also start to decrease as well. And as part of the pan campaign, the sheriff's office will be also putting up signs in local schools and libraries. Live in the studio, Amir Massenberg, WDBJ7.